So friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. In the last video, we have seen the ladder programming for turning off the office door and parking lights with delay. In this video, we are going to see it's HMI designing. So open your Dopsoft HMI from here. So first of all, let me tell you the visuals I have used over there. The images I have used in the PPT that is not available in built-in HMI library. So we have to create our own images and add in our HMI. So how we will do that? Let us see. First of all, select this 800 by 480 resolution for our this project and write over here our project name. Click next button. And in the for communication, you have to select your driver or simulator that you have created in Comgia. So as I have said you earlier, the images I have used for this project that is not available in built in its library. So go to options menu, click on pictures bank. You can see I have added my own folder over here. If you want to add your own folder, click on this icon install picture bank. From here navigate to your folder, select the folder and click OK. So your folder will appear over here. If your folder will appear over here, then you can see the images in the folder like this. After that just close this box. Now start drawing your screen. So first of all. I want one background image for this project. So I will select one rectangular over here. Select a rectangular over the full screen of my HMI. So you can see I have created one rectangular. Now double click over it. Go to pictures. Select and from here in the libraries scroll down to the bottom and in the bottom you will see your own folder. So click over here. Images will take some time to load. So this is the image for my this project as a background image. Click OK. Here the preview is available. If you can't see your image completely then go to stretch mode and select stretch one to one. And then click OK. So you can see the background image of my project is created. I want three outputs. First is my office lights, then is my door and finally third is my parking lights. So what are that? These all are outputs and how we indicate our outputs from here indicator. So first of all go to indicator and select multi state indicator. Now for office light, I will draw a building over here with lights. So select the rectangular box of this size. Now double click over here. First of all, we have to write the address. So office lights, we have connected it to Y0 position in our PLC and click enter. Now this is the zero means off state. So I have to add my off state image of office light. So go to pictures. Again, I will open my own added folder. You can see these are the two images for building. When the lights will be off, it will look like this. So select this image and click OK. You can see the image is available properly. Then just click OK over here and it is available here properly. Now double click over it. Similarly, whenever this Y0 is on, we want to show the lights are on. So again go to pictures, open your own library and when the lights will be off, the building will look like this. So select this image, click OK and again click OK. So from here you can see this is our off state and this is our on state. So when the building lights will be on, building will look like this and if the lights are off, it will look like this. So in this way I have created my Y0 output. Now here I will draw another outputs that is my door light. So again 
select the indicator in multi state indicator and draw a rectangular box like this double click over it first of all we will write its address so our door light output is connected to y1 position in plc so here i have selected y1 now again similarly for the off state i want to show an image so again go to your own library you can see there are two images for door this is when the lights are on and this is for off condition so right now i will select this for off condition now you have to make sure that image is visible properly so here i will select stretch one on one or stretch all and then click ok but before that we also have to give image for on condition so again select one over here open your library and i will select this for on condition click ok So you can see this will be our another output when the door lights will be on it will look like this and if the lights are off it will look like this similarly here we want our third output that is our parking light so again go to indicator because we show outputs by indicator and select multi state indicator row two boxes like this First of all, double click over it and write its address. We have connected parking lights to Y2 position. So I, I have written Y2 over here. Now for the off state, I want to show an image. So I will open my own library. So from here, you can see I have downloaded two images of street light one for off and one for on so right now i will select this for off condition as the image is not visible properly click here stretch all and now the image is visible properly similarly we will give image for on condition select image for your own condition Click on stretch all to make it visible properly and click OK over here. Now it is looking properly. Now I want to show more lights like this. So just copy paste this block. Drag here like this. So here we have completed all the things except start stop button over here. So for that one button maintain button and draw a box like this double click over it first of all we will write its address in the plc i have connected my on off button to x0 position so here i have written x0 now we need to add picture to it so go to pictures now from here open the library button switch on off here you can see all new kind of switches right now for this project i will use this image for off condition click ok over here if the image is not visible properly select stretch all or you can select stretch one to one so let us select stretch all and if you want to remove this gray color and want to match with background so click on mains and from here select this or this whichever suits your background and click ok so you can see it is matching with background similarly for on condition we want to show one image so again here also we will change the color and then go to pictures Select modern switch on off library for on condition I will use this image click ok again here we have to select stretch all to resize the image and click ok 
So you can see our input button is created. So here we have completed our HMI designing. Now it's time to simulate our project. So first of all, open your programming in ladder diagram in ISP soft. Now open your COMGR and start your simulator. Right now it is already in start position. So just close this. Compile this project from here. As there are no errors and warnings, we can proceed to download our program to simulator. So click over here to download our program and click transfer button. Close this box. Now click on online mode. Don't forget to on this bit and click run button. Click yes over here and you can see the simulator has started. Now again open your Dobsoft HMI and from here click on offline simulation. So as you can see our screen is loaded. Let me adjust it to here. So as soon as I will on this button, X0 will be on and these three outputs will become on. So you can see over here building door and parking light will become on. So let me press this button. You can see office light, door light and street lights are on. So this is our first state. Now as soon as I will make this switch off, you can see over here this will become on right now. It is in on condition, so its NO contact is on. When I will off this, its NC will become on and this timer will start and this office light will off instantaneously. So let me show you. You can see this is off, but this is on and it will after 5 seconds it has completed. It is off and right now it is calculating 5 seconds and after 5 seconds this is off. Right now you can see all the outputs are in off state. Again whenever I will press this button on, you can see all outputs are on simultaneously and when I will off this button, it has stopped but it will stop after some delay that is 5 seconds. You can see over here. It is completed so this is off and after that delay this street light has also become off. This was all about this project. If you want to learn more examples like this, just like and subscribe our YouTube channel automationcommunity.com. Meet you in the next video.